all right everyone here we are with ticker symbol ocgn ocugen inc and before we jump into this chart i want to say welcome to all the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel invest for tomorrow to all the subscribers welcome back and let's jump into this chart so ocugen is actually doing the subtle very very subtle downward movement i've talked about since the first video so if you've been watching the videos i would love for you to confirm if you're seeing the trend but the more you zoom in or the, even the more you zoom out, you can see that it's going in a downward direction. It keeps doing the slight spike and coming down, slight spike and coming down. Now, it's holding itself up pretty well above 161 and 162 range here that we've talked about. This is probably one of the most important support levels. It broke through the second most important support level of 185, 186, give or take. And it's hit newer lows. But it bounced right back above that and it's at 191. So we're going to see our new support. We're going to see our new resistance. But I want every single investor to be aware of the fact that this stock has been in a slight downward movement. Some would say it's in a sideways movement. Look at it. It's just moving sideways. But it's actually in a very subtle way going downward. So there are people shaving off their positions slowly but surely. But we still want to keep in mind the fact that it's holding itself up from 30 cents to 160 pretty well this whole entire area and if i actually redraw that so you can kind of see the bigger picture and excuse my drawing my drawing is terrible but i like to illustrate all this area here it's holding itself up so even though some sell off and shaving off of position happened here and it's happening slowly but surely here there's more investors jumping in right so maintaining everything and then also there's investors holding it up from this point there's people that have shaved off positions and still held from this run up as we see it so there's potential here we talked in one of the previous videos about what ocugen is doing and why there's opportunity they're trying to partner up um, i'm gonna actually talk about a more updated article but the first article we read and saw together it told us a little bit about covaxin and how it is actually being made in a form of a traditional cocktail as we know it right of vaccines how they've done them always in the past and it's with an inactive form of the coronavirus right and it says to protect according to studies and what the article was stating to protect the from the evolving COVID-19 not just from one strain but also from mutations I'm pretty interested in knowing what type of temperature it needs to be at and how delicate it is to its surroundings right temperature and you know the way it needs to be administered and so forth and how many times do you need to get the vaccine I find that very interesting because that's going to make a big game changer in this vaccine specifically and also make more investors become attracted to this if there's some positive results and positive things just more than just the immune response that this vaccine does right like costs and also the way it's administered you know, if it's just one time that's a game changer because the vaccines we have right now it takes two times and delicacy of transportation and how it needs to be stored and so forth i think those are some big things right so here we are drug developer ocugen inc said on tuesday it had partnered with barat biotech to co-develop the india-based company's covid19 vaccine candidate for the u.s market so they are trying to bring basically covaxin and Ocugen is stating it has the U.S. rights to the vaccine candidate to be responsible for clinical development, registration, and commercializing for the U.S. market. So we need to see how Ocugen proceeds with this process. Could they actually bring it over? And once they are def in a definitive, definitive, excuse me for that agreement to commercialize. And clinically develop it here and get FDA approval. Covaxin being distributed by Ocugen 
and formed by Borat Biotech from India together will have a big impact on the fact that oxygen, right, can run up. It's going to make a big game changer. So it ran up when those talks happen. They're still working on it. And that's why things have quieted down. And some people like to call a stock like this one a sleeping giant, right? And I look forward to seeing your guys' thoughts down below, how you feel about it and what you think about it. And I've seen a lot of people comment down below some great things about Covaxin that they've done research on, talking about the trials and how it's really working. And then I've also pe seen people state, you know, the India-based uh, biotech company is really well known and doing a really good job um, with this creation. And the fact that it's being formed traditionally, I think that's a big game changer compared to other distributors and other competitors out there. And it's going to make a big difference in the eyes of investors and investors might even be more comfortable, you know, loading up on shares for this stock. But we still need to see if Ocugen can roll that out over here. So Ocugen is just saying, hey, we found a traditional cocktail. We found a vaccine that is doing really well according to trials and studies. And we want to be the ones to get the rights to administer it distribute it, not administer it, but distribute it in the U.S. market. And we want to be the first ones to bring that over. So they're working on it. It's not official yet. We need to see. And that's why this subtle downward movement is happening. Profit taking, uncertainty and fear. But it's holding itself up pretty well. If they don't get that approval and they can't be the ones to distribute it in the U.S. markets, I think that's going to have a tremendous impact on the downward direction just as fast as it went up it can go down and it can change everything so we need to watch this carefully and we need to see what the news is showing us but ocugen is one step closer every day as we speak about this stock to hopefully bring that over to the u.s markets so that this stock can actually start to have that positive effect of that vaccine actually becoming part of their revenue so the 50-day moving average is 193 as long as we're below it we are in bearish territory the moment we're above it we're in bullish territory so the support level here is 172 if that gets broken through the bears are starting to gain more control and this could be on its way down to newer lows so we want to watch 172 and how quickly is it getting to 162, 161? And if it breaks through that, this will start to see newer lows. But it bounced back from 172. We want to watch carefully the behavior of this stock if it breaks through it. Now, our resistance is very important because the bulls need to break through it to get back into bullish territory and pull away from the 50-day moving average. And that's 194. If they accomplish that, they got into bullish territory by breaking through the 50-day moving average. And they're pulling away from it. But that's not enough to confirm momentum. They need to break through 199. And even pull up harder and further into 205. And continue the momentum to reach newer highs. And new resistance levels pulling further away from the 50 day moving average. In an upward direction. So we need to watch this stock carefully. It's in a very subtle. And the more you zoom out. Downward direction. The more you zoom in. The more it looks like. It's just kind of sideways movement consolidating and it could be consolidating, but it's been moving slowly downwards. Now, I find it very interesting that it's holding itself up above 162, 161 really well. So we want to keep an eye on that and also stay tuned with the news and update it on that. So if anybody has any updates, you're more than welcome to share it down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If it was your first time coming across this channel and you learned something new, Hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.